everybody. So I have had a lot of people mention music in teaching and in the classroom recently. So I thought I wanted to pull together 10 quick ways that you could use music in your classroom. So with that, let's get going. All right, 10 ways to use music in your lesson. First, as they enter the classroom, as students are walking in that room, you should have some really fun, upbeat music playing. It gets them smiling, it gets them excited. Absolutely, start your class with music, end your class with music. It will make a huge difference in how you set the tone in your classroom. Second, during projects and activities, nobody wants a silent classroom. Have you ever gone into a store and it's just totally silent and it's uncomfortable? It's the same thing. So I'm not saying you blare the music while they're doing some type of project, but absolutely have something going on quietly in the background to keep them going. They love it if it's something they can sing along to. Of course, make sure it's clean, but still, something during the projects and activities. You could do, use music to demonstrate strength and or force in a topic. So um, I come from a world of cosmetology and I used to describe perms, alkaline acid, according to the strength of the music, right? So fast music is strong, something with a strong beat, whereas calm music would signify some type of calm chemical that we're using, okay? So really get you know creative with it and figure out how music can kind of make it click for them because that's what we're trying to do. All right. You can use music during test time. Make sure your students are down with this because not every student wants that music playing, but find some soft, maybe atmospheric piano or something like that to play in the background during test time. It is proven to actually help students focus and kind of, you know, really calm their test anxieties down during tests. Again, you need to make sure that your whole class is comfortable with that, maybe through some type of quiet survey or poll, but still really great way to use some music. You could use it as an activity with students creating music. So have them rewrite a popular song or a rhyme or a rap or something like that with knowledge from the chapter. Sounds cheesy, but I will tell you, they laugh every single time and they always have a good time while they're doing it. So yeah, I know you're gonna get a lot of eye rolls when you say you have to write a rap with this theory topic, but I'm telling you, they're gonna laugh and love it. All right, could be as a hook in your lesson. So if you could find a song that actually like talks about, so, okay, again, I come from the world of cosmetology. I know you're not all cosmetologists, but uh, Bruno Mars has a song called Perm and it says throw some perm on your attitude because you got to relax. I always play that during the perm chapter. So try to find songs that kind of reference what you're talking about. It makes a really great way to like hook them in during your launch phase of your lesson plan, okay? You could do it during lab work. I'm a big believer in this I don't care what your setting is even if you're in allied health if you have students that are working on phys like actual physical practical work on each other or on you know mannequins or whatever it might be have some music playing in the background there's no reason it has to be silent quiet enough that you can still have a conversation with them but it kind of keeps that vibe going so absolutely during lab work Number three, as a change of state, you know, we should really incorporate a change of state every 15, 20, 30 minutes. Students lose their attention span after that. We have to reset that brain. So using music to create your change of state and kind of shift that brain again, is a really great way to keep the energy up in your classroom. So during a change of state, Number two, to signal changes in learning lab stations. I'm a huge believer in learning labs. I think it's a really great way to kind of have active learning going on in your classroom, lots of movement going on in your classroom. But sometimes students can get caught up in one lab and one station and sit there way too long. So you could actually have something where they're going from station to station and when the music starts playing again, it's time for them to get up and move to the next station, okay? So it could be that. And finally, my number one way to actually use music in your classroom is to bring that class back together. So I am a firm believer in having like a theme song for your class. The students actually get to choose it at the beginning of the semester or the term or the module, whatever you do, okay? So whenever I play that theme song, they know whatever activity we're doing, it's time to wrap it up and that by the end of that song, they should be back on their seats and it's time to get back to work. So I play that theme song a couple minutes before break is over. I play it right before class starts. I play it as we're finishing up and it just kind of becomes this signal and they know. and What's super cool about that is then for the rest of their lives, they hear that song and they think of your class and it's just a really great memory typically, okay? So easy peasy, right? 10 ways to incorporate music into your classroom. If you're not doing it, do it. Music is amazing at getting students excited. Um, and if you're looking for any more ideas and information, remember the Intentional Classroom is finally up and running. Our first course is live, the Intentional Lesson Plan, all sorts of cool ideas in there for you to play around with. Um, and soon we'll have more courses available to you. So thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day.